Okay. Wolfie here is on the way back to bed to pick up Pixel. Bring her home, finally. Get my kitty back. I saw something unrelated to that. This should only take a couple minutes to ramble about. But it's really funny. Uh, Big Tech is at it again doing this yet more performative woke nonsense. Yelp, the uh, business review website that everyone takes super seriously, especially after that South Park episode about these useless uh, review sites. Uh, Yelp has taken it upon themselves to introduce a new feature <laughs> to highlight businesses or give you a warning about businesses that have been accused of racism. Just accused. No, no proof required. And so when you click on, a, on the details link for business, it'll pop up a big ass red warning. These people are racist. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> that can't backfire at all, can it? For one thing, that's just begging for litigation because I'm pretty damn sure that's defamation. That, that's just straight up defamation. And you would think that learn my lesson from the old Oberlin University thing versus the Gibson Bakery. But then again, Oberlin didn't learn their lesson either. Those dipshits are still trying to win an appeal. Unbelievable. But anyway, um, so that's one reason I think it, it could really go wrong for Yelp. But there's there's another much simpler reason why it's obvious to me they didn't really think this through. Somebody at some meeting probably brought this up and they shushed it because, you know, this is the woke thing to do and they overruled it. There's another feature on the Yelp website. <laughs> and it's, just tell me if you can't connect the dots once I tell you this. They'll allow you to report a business as racist, right? There's another feature on Yelp that lets you search for businesses that are owned by blacks. Straight up, black-owned businesses. Hmm. <laughs> How could this possibly go wrong? This is just some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Just, God, they don't, they cannot, have, I guess they cannot conceive of the possibility of some very funny, clever people deciding, okay, we're going to report every black business as racist. <laughs> and that, and then Yelp will have to reveal at that point that either they automatically defend and protect the, you know, the uh, entries for black-owned businesses so that they can never be flagged as racist, which is an interesting statement in itself. Or they're going to have to admit that it's trivially simple to game this new system and they'll look like total asses. You know 4chan's going to pick, up, pick that up and run with it. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's just blowing fruit there, man. I, uh, anyway, I'm here, so I'm going to go get my cat. And uh, I'll continue laughing about this uh, when I've got her back. See ya. Okay, I'm back with Pixel, even though that's her button, not her face. All right. Take out my Kung Flu Cool Kids Club uniform. Uh, right, so I was laughing at Yelp being really funny, embarrassing woke tards. Uh, so, right, the, the fact that Google and Yelp both make it really easy to look up um, both black owned businesses and then so called all inclusive businesses. Like, literally, businesses can go and label themselves as woke or diverse. So, you can look these places up and you can report businesses for being racist and um yeah i can just imagine 4chan doing this in fact i, I don't have to imagine it i saw a thread about it <laughs> and then of course the other thing that they can do uh, or that anybody can do to kind of uh, gum up the works 
Come on, Pixel. You want to turn around? She's got one of those collars on again. She's pissed about that. But, uh, yeah, the, the other thing you can do, because anybody with an account can rate a business or post a review, um, you know, since... Uh, they openly report, you know, they'll openly label a business as racist if they get enough reports. Uh, you can just go and five star, the, give them a five star review. And you don't have to say a thing about politics. You can just say, hey, yeah, great burgers, wonderful service. And just blow up their scores. And because I think we all know that any claim of racism against a business is going to be complete utter horseshit. Unless they, you know, literally post a sign saying, no blacks, or no Irish. Because, you know, but that, that was a thing back in the uh, 40s and 50s. Uh, that was against my tribe, you see. Because I'm, I'm Irish, or have Irish blood. Uh, and, you know, the, the other thing about this that really... This is going to trigger some people, or it could. They, they get really bristly when you make this comparison... Uh, when you compare a woke tart like this, but this sort of thing with a with them branding businesses as racist, this kind of reminds me of the time the Germans went around and painted stars on Jewish-owned businesses. You know, that's um, that's bad. That led to a whole bunch of really bad shit, like actually people buying kind of bad shit. Good, what is the number? It's six million plus people dead. Kind of bad shit. So this is a really dangerous path that they're treading down. Um, not strictly just for the obvious troll uh, weaknesses it's got, but it sends a pretty fucked up political message. It's it's literally branding a business with no. Um, no way to defend itself. Of course, Yelp is sort of a uh, protection racket to begin with. And uh, what they'll do is, <clears throat> you know, they list your business, and for a while, you you just get reviews organically. And then they'll contact you and try to get you to sign up for their, I don't know what they call them anymore. Better Business Bureau does the same shit. They call it their Customer Relations Program. Yelp has something almost identical and if you don't respond, or if you tell them no, then mysteriously your business starts to get a bunch of anonymous one-star reviews that are very unspecific, non-specific rather, and just say generally bad things about you. And those magically go away if you decide to buy their service. Hmm. So yeah, they're the same kind of scam as the Better Business Bureau is. So they're already in the game of shitting on people's reputations, and it seems like a kind of dangerous play to just straight up open it to trolls. And then, of course, there's the whole, you know, the Germans did this too thing, and uh, that's, uh, that's that's some bad optics right there. I'm really hoping they reconsider this before they go nuts with it, because this is really kind of... It's really going to get awkward if they uh, pursue this. Well, we're home. Pixel gets to roam free tonight. Doesn't have to be locked in the closet. I'm going to take that damn cone off of her head as soon as I get her in the house. Um, so, yeah, that's it for us for the night. She goes back tomorrow morning to get their catheter taken out. I don't think she's going to be staying at the vet tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. They wanted one more night of leaving the catheter in just in case. But I don't think she'll leave it. But yeah, uh, that's it for us. Pixel's butt says hi. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.